Twenty seconds, everybody. All right, hot water. What's happening? All right, James. How you doing? We know each other through the the coffee game in Glasgow. <laughs> Tight knit community. Fucking here. <laughs> you're a different James. <laughs> How short am I, by the way? <laughs> Bad days when you're the same height as a mic stand. That's <laughs> that's brutal. You know, I, I'm actually I realise I'm pretty short. Uh, Start to worry about how I'm going to break it to my son if I ever have one. Do you know what I mean? Uh, don't really know how that conversation is going to go. Dad, why are you so short? Uh, because your mother smoked, son. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say granny there. <laughs> That's how the joke's supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I'm also quite hairy as well. I mean, you can't really tell because I'm wearing a, sh a long sleeve t-shirt, but put it this way, if I was wearing a short sleeve t-shirt, you'd think I was wearing a... Take it. <laughs> Wouldn't you be so lucky? <laughs> I've got a chest that put a 70s porn star. It's shame. <laughs> look at my arms. <laughs> I mean, tell I look like Robin Williams, but just his forearms. Sorry? Keeping around and tripped. <laughs> just the way you talk about it. <laughs> you just want a wee bit of attention, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is my first five minutes here and I'm shiting myself over <laughs> it. So, uh, this isn't helping, but thank you very much for zooming in. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so short and hairy that I can no longer be referred to as a short man anymore. I'm much more of a tall hobbit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Started to get quite nervous about uh, being so short, you know what I mean, because I went to high school and all the tall, you know, good looking football players were getting all the birds, and I was walking about like just giving a chimpanzee a shot back and sides. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh no, if, do I never get a girlfriend? Am I, am I never going to find love? And then my dad caught wind of this, and he was, he was pretty good with it. He sat us down and said, Pierce, look, you only need to be one of three things to be successful with the ladies. You only need to be one. Handsome. <laughs> Two, rich, or three, funny. So uh, <laughs> this five minutes doesn't go well. I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Actually, did manage to lose my virginity. You know, life's. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Plot twist. You know, <laughs> the history of plot twist. It goes Kaiser Soze, usual suspect. Me getting pumped. Shutter Island. You know. <laughs> yeah. I've actually come to understand that there's quite a lot of similarities between having sex and doing stand-up comedy. Like for one, whilst enduring both, I've got an overwhelming amount of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Two, I still don't really know what to do with my horns. <laughs> <laughs> and three, my uncle's always right over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. He's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> nah, eh, no, life's actually on the up and up. Like I said, I actually did manage to get myself a girlfriend. And uh, no, she's not the type of girlfriend where you need to pay her every time you see her. <laughs> We've got a direct debit set up. So the money just comes out every month, you know. The bank basically take care of everything, you know. I managed to get a girlfriend that's shorter than me, you know, which is a bonus. Uh, she's about well, the same height, but my four inches beats her three. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, I actually just finished in a three-year degree at drama school, and uh, no, yeah, no, it deserves that reaction as well. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, drama school's not actually what you think it is. Liverpool drama school's exactly what you think it is. Liverpool, it's a big waste of time. You know what I mean? I done three years at drama school, or as my mum and dad like to call it, you know, a farce. <laughs> yeah, you know. We always had this weird teacher in it that we would do movement with. It was actually dance, but they were quite pretentious that way, so they called it movement. And every time you would walk into the movement room, there would just be this weird, you know, African drumming music going on, like <laughs> you'd open the door and you'd think somebody's just started a game of Jumanji. You're like, what the fuck is <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Just there, boom, 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 boom. Come on, kids, get in, get in, get in. Because today what we're going to do to get your body and the mind of being an actor is we're going to move from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So she does the and all, oh, this and all that, you know what I mean? All the, all the lunges. Then there's me and about 15 other reprobates <laughs> stood there in the dance studio on a Tuesday morning just doing this fucking... Try not to fall over. Because if you fell over, you had to start again. And the only thing 
that I could think about the entire time that I was doing this was that I've got pals sweating their way through exams trying to become engineers at uni. I've got pals that literally get picked up at half four every morning to go and actually build somebody's house. And here's me taking out the mace I could take out in student loans so that I could tightrope on an imaginary rope. <laughs> Pierce, you finished. Thank you very much. Fuck you, Dad. I've been Pierce Seggins. Thank you very much. Pierce Seggins, everyone.